Hello all you wonderful people, this is Anime Sims and welcome back to my channel and another speed build. So today we are building a boat in Solani and I've been wanting to make a boat or kind of like a yacht in this world forever but never really gotten the shape right or felt like it was going in the right direction. But right after I got the most recent expansion pack high school years, I sat down and started working on this and luckily I was kind of in the flow and I think it turned out kind of cute. So this pack also has some really beautiful rattan furniture so those items were just made for this build. I absolutely love doing coastal builds so I'm glad I can add this to my collection. And if you've been watching some of my most recent speed builds I've also mentioned that Solani is one of my favorite worlds to build in. And I recently did the Solani Thrifty or Boba Tea Shop, which I'm so glad so many people seem to enjoy. I also did the Solani Spa and Pool Resort, which I've just... that's become one of my favorite builds I've done. And now I've done this boat as well. I almost feel like I've started a Solani save file, but I think that would be actually really fun. The only downside is that I'm not the best at building on waterfront lots like this one, so I always go straight for the non-waterfront lots in Solani. But for this one, of course, I had to just go for it. But yeah, a Solani safe belt would be cool, so I think I should consider it, and I think I'm, I might actually make a playlist for those lots, and if you're curious, you can check them out if you would like. I've also been building a bit in my Del Sol Valley save file recently without a lot of luck, unfortunately. I mean, I started an Art Deco cinema while streaming on Twitch, but that was a really difficult project. Or I might not have been in a really good building mode when I was doing that. But, but yeah, I also started on the 64x64 64 64 lot there. So a really big lot and I think the house structure itself turned out good. However, I think I made the porch a little too big. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not sure what I'm going to fill that porch with except a pool. So I think I have to kind of reconsider the backyard a bit. So yeah, I still have some things to figure out and work on for that one. But back to this build. So it is going to be a short video, so I want to kind of fit in a little description of my build. So this is built on the 30 by 30 kinship lot in Sulani, but if you're looking at the photos and then the download page on the gallery, this boat is actually placed on the 30 by 20 pier perfection lot in a different neighborhood in Sulani. So I tried to place it in different places to see where it would look best, but yeah, I think this would fit on a lot of lots. But you might have to re-add the stairs by the pier since the length of the waterfront might differ from lot to lot, at least from what I experienced when I tried to place this on different lots. So it is quite a small build and only has a small kitchen and living space, one bathroom, but actually a rather big bedroom actually. So in this build you will see quite a lot of the new high school year stuff. You know, the new rattan bed is so pretty. There's going to be a lot of posters, lots of cute clutter, which I'm obsessed with. There's, you know, the clothing racks the dual monitor desktop, new chairs, and the rat and couch, and hammock. And I'm just so obsessed with all of these items. So yes, a lot of new pretty items I've used here. So I wanted this build to have a rather modern and clean design with some hanging plants on the exterior walls. There are solar panels on the roof. So actually a bit of eco lifestyle going on here as well. And I also use some glass textures on the like uh, hanging roof at the front of the boat and a lot of windows. So I've used a lot of the Discover University windows actually, which I thought had a pretty design. There are some glass textures on the fence and I also put the stairs like at the front of the at the boat because I couldn't really fit them inside. So that was my plan B and I think it worked out kind of nicely. <laughs> 
And yes, then I just mix it with the more tropical design items such as the rat and furniture and also I think maybe some island living furniture. And I've also become obsessed with the Discover University wallpaper I've used here and especially in this plain white swatch. It just matches really well with the whole boat concept and there's also a deck at the front of the boat with some seating and a table. You can barbecue some food and I do believe I added a towel on the floor as well, like on the deck. So you can lie down and get a suntan, but originally I wanted to add a lounge chair, but there just wasn't enough space, sadly. So you'll have to make do with the towel. <laughs> So as I said, there is only one bedroom, but I do believe you would have enough space to make more if you'd like to make this into kind of like a renovation project. And I also, I had a little nook or like a one by one tile at the second floor. So I added an archway and then I made that little nook into a wardrobe. But yeah, you can of course do whatever you want with this. And there's also a balcony on the second floor as well, where I place one of the hammocks. So yeah, I just think this is a cute little boat and just a small build. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this build. So please make sure to watch to the end so you will see how it all turns out. As always, this is playtested and up on the gallery. My ID is Alric, but you can also find it under the hashtag HanimeSims. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.